North Korea is one of the few countries in the world with laws that are so shocking and outdated that most people don't believe they exist. The country is considered the most closed one in the world, which is not that strange considering their laws. The nation's supreme leader, Kim Jong-un, runs a totalitarian regime with laws unlike anywhere else in the world, which is why you don't see anyone from North Korea on Instagram, not even the supreme leader himself. What you are about to learn are the laws that will make you grateful for living in a country that is not North Korea. But before we get to that, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel because we have more videos coming your way. Listening to foreign music or watching foreign movies is forbidden. Kim Jong-un works hard to contain dissent, which is why he issued a decree to seize tapes and CDs that might contain songs banned in the country. Watching foreign movies is extremely illegal as well. For example, if people are caught watching an American movie, they may be executed, whereas Indian movies may only lead to a prison sentence. Only calls within the country are allowed. You might find it strange that people in the 21st century are only allowed to make phone calls within their own country. In North Korea, making international calls is considered a crime, and in 2007, a man who made several international calls was executed for this transgression. Falling asleep in a meeting during Kim Jong-un's speech could be punished by death. One would say it makes sense not to fall asleep during important meetings, but these things do happen from time to time. However, when the defense minister Hyung Yong Cho fell asleep during one of Kim Jong Un's events in 2015, he was executed in front of more than 100 people with an anti aircraft gun. Disrespecting Kim Jong Un's family is considered an act of blasphemy. There are many ways to disrespect someone, but what happened in North Korea in 2020 could hardly be considered disrespectful and blasphemous. A woman was put in jail for trying to save her children before saving the portrait of former President Kim Il sung when her house caught on fire. To make matters worse, there is a law that says not wiping dust off the supreme leader's portraits is a punishable crime. That's why every family gets a special duster to keep the portraits clean. Female government officials are not allowed to drive cars. Believe it or not, female government officials don't have permission to drive any vehicles, even if they are working as traffic officers. Additionally, only one in a hundred people gets to have and drive a car. Citizens are not allowed to have fun on July 8th. North Korean President Kim Il-sung died on July 8, 1994. Since then, no one is allowed to smile, dance, drink, talk loud, or have fun on that day. Those who do are either executed or sent to labor camps depending on the severity of their crime. No one is allowed to wear jeans. We are all used to wearing jeans whenever we want to, but people in North Korea are not allowed to do that at all because it was declared as a symbol of capitalism. Also, women are not allowed to wear bikinis and skirts must cover their knees. Not everyone can use the internet. North Korea has its own intranet called Kwangmyong, or Bright, and it was launched in the year 2000. There are only 28 websites that are strictly for professional use, and they are all under government supervision. There is a limited number of people who can use the internet, and all computers run on a state-sanctioned operating system called Red Star OS. Additionally, Wi-Fi is not allowed in any North Korean embassies around the world. There are specific haircuts people can get. At the moment, there are 28 different haircuts available, 18 for women and 10 for men. All haircuts are state approved and not adhering to the rules is considered a crime. Everyone has to join the military. Military service is mandatory in North Korea. Men must serve 10 years in the military while women are required to serve 7. Mothers need to go into birth alone. Pregnant women are not allowed to give birth in front of anyone. They must go into labor alone and are not allowed to meet their family for a week after giving birth. If a woman gives birth to triplets, they are given to the state due to the low birth rate. Children are returned to their parents when they turn four. North Korea has its own special calendar. There are a few different calendars around the world, but North Korea has by far the most interesting one. It's called Juche, and it begins on April 15, 1912, which is the birth date of their former supreme leader, Kim Il-sung. So, what do you think about the laws of North Korea? Do they make sense or are they completely ridiculous? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more.